What's going on guys? Uh, Justin Owens here. Welcome to another video. Today I am joined by my very good friend Marty Lemayne. Marty is a songwriter here in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we're going to talk about part two about being a songwriter in Nashville. And we have six don'ts for you to uh, hear and some of our personal experiences and some of the things that we've done together and uh, um, yeah we've kind of learned from those things and these are six don'ts so if you want to be a songwriter in Nashville these are six things that you should you should not do should not do so Marty is a good friend of mine we've been writing together uh, since 2016 and uh, we've uh, developed 15, a pretty good 2015 15, oh yeah it's been since 2015 we've developed a, a pretty good uh, friendship <laughs> yes yeah that was a long time ago <laughs> Uh, we develop a pretty good friendship and relationship in uh, just working together, and uh, you know we've done a lot of things. We've played a lot of shows together. We've traveled together uh, several different places and uh, laughed together, laughed together, cried together. Cried together. <laughs> it's been it's been a, a pretty great past couple of years. But uh, Marty, why don't you tell us just a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, and kind of what you've been doing over the past few years in Nashville? Yeah, um, I'm from Michigan. Uh, moved here uh, in August of 2014 to attend Belmont University to get my master's degree. When I moved, I don't remember wanting to stay. I don't remember that being a part of my plan, but I know that by the time I got into my second year, I knew that staying was something that I needed to do um, just because I wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to be the musician that I wanted to be in Michigan, that that isn't, um, that that wasn't going to be the environment where I could really flourish. And so graduated and um, continued to seek out work and stayed. <laughs> That's a yes. short version of it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Marty is a fantastic writer, and uh, you know he's 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 plugged in with a lot of different people here in Nashville. And we actually are working on a few songs together right now that eventually I'm going to share with you. So that's fire. It's fire, fire, man. It's it's gonna be a fire album. <laughs> dropping it sometime in the future. But anyways, all right. Let's dive into the content. Six don'ts for don'ts. being a songwriter in Nashville. Number one, don't live in a different city. I know that sounds stupid. I know that's obvious. <laughs> but it's you have to say it. Yeah, it's <laughs> you have obvious. to say it. You always say the obvious stuff first. And it. And I will say, like, this is going to sound also weird, but I think you, at least for me, I've gravitated toward people who live in my particular section of the city. Like, we don't live very far from each other. I tend to work with people who live close-ish to me. I don't really go north of the river. I don't go up into East Nashville very often. Not for any particular reason. I just don't. And so I think, like, if you want to, I mean, if you're going to live in Nashville, just and be a Nashville songwriter, just live in Nashville. Yeah. Because it's hard to build community and have relationships with people that live outside yeah. of the city. So, And even, I mean, if you live in, like, an, <laughs> an outlying city in Middle Tennessee area, that can work. I mean, it's just, it t I feel like it takes more effort on your part. It does. you got to fight traffic. If you want to be a songwriter in Nashville, <laughs> yeah. live in Nashville. Live in Nashville. Pretty self-explanatory. Number two is don't turn down people in the beginning. When you first come to Nashville... Your goal needs to be to connect with people. Your goal needs to be to network. You've got to be an individual that is shaking hands. You are going to the places and the <clears throat> shows and the you're going everywhere. And you want to introduce yourself to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is you're going to get you're going to have people that are going to you're going to write with. You're going to have people that are going to be uh, potentially mentors, people that maybe want to help you or maybe have they see potential in you and they want to connect you with different people. And so they're going to invite you to coffee or, or to dinner or mm -hmm. you're going to have to be the one that's inviting them to coffee. Let me buy you coffee, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. it takes. Um, you, you've definitely got to be plugging yourself and, and saying your name a lot. Hi, I'm Justin Owens. Hi, I'm Marty LeMay. You're going to have to say that a whole lot. Yeah. And maybe if it yeah. helps, get a business card or something with your, your email. Yeah. Don't turn down people in the beginning. Granted, be safe. Like, don't be stupid and write with people who creep you out. Um, <laughs> like, no, yeah. do that. Yeah. At least for me, I found that there's some people where if I write, if I... If I write with them once and like, I don't know if that worked or not, I'll give it a couple more shots. Mm -hmm. And then if I come to the conclusion like, mm, this isn't working, then I'm good. But I've also worked with people where 
it hasn't been killer in the beginning and it's gotten better. I mean, the first couple of songs that we wrote together were not great. And then as we became friends, the music got better. Yeah, sometimes it takes more than once with a person to know if the art that you're creating is good. Mm -hmm. And then as you, as you go on, yeah, get picky. Yeah. And I get, I tend to get a little bit more choosy. I don't really write with everyone uh, all the time. I write with people that I feel like I can make really good stuff with. Right. Um, stuff that I'm excited about and stuff that the, that the artist or that the other writer is excited about. I mean, that's a, uh, that's a necessity. Right. So yeah, and, just in the beginning. And the assumption is you're coming to Nashville independently more than likely. Yeah. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to develop chemistry with people, the people that you write with, because mm -hmm. it is about that relationship. And you know, if you don't have a publisher or a label or anything that's pushing you and plugging you with people on a regular, consistent basis, you are your own publisher and your mm -hmm. own record label. So you've got to plug and push yourself. Um, and you, you've got to, to, to give your best. You gotta be on your A game when you go into those, those co-writes mm -hmm. um, and when you meet those people and you have to work to develop that chemistry yeah. um, mm -hmm. but still be persistent in the beginning and and definitely uh, you know say yes to a lot of different opportunities yeah take them out to coffee too sometimes that's the great you thing can. to do first just like just go talk <laughs> just talk about music yeah and just see you if know? you like see if you have a good vibe see if they're into the same thing if they like that TV show that you really like or yeah. even that's super helpful like just to see if there's a natural friendship that grows out of it yep. for sure Number three of the don'ts of being a songwriter in Nashville is... Don't be a turd. Just don't. Nashville... Just don't. <laughs> Nashville is obviously a huge city <laughs> with lots of people that move here every year. And not necessarily always for music things. I have found that I am at least like two or three people away from that one person that I want to meet, like that yeah. one artist that, I'm, that I would love to write with, or that one writer whose stuff I've, you know, listened to and whatever. Uh, so that being said, treat people like they're people and not like they are an ATM that you can just get things from. Just don't be a turd. Nashville's about the hang. Yeah. It's, I would so much rather write with someone who's not super famous, not super well known or whatever, and have a good time, they're right with someone who I know is like has produced excellent art, but is just not awesome to hang out with. And I'm like, you're not gonna enjoy it. Yeah. That's you wanna be able to enjoy it. Yeah, just don't be a turd. Yeah. And the the, <laughs> the flip side of that is just to have fun. It's you wanna have fun. You wanna make money and you be wanna grow and build, but you, you need be to have good, fun. Yeah, be a good hang. Yeah. Be a good hang. Nashville's about the hang. Uh, the f <laughs> when we write together, it's we. there's been writes where we'll, because we write pretty consistently, and we block off a few hours to do it, and what happens most of the time, and this has happened several times, we had, we have conversation yeah. probably 70 to 80% of the time and then write the rest of the time. And mm -hmm. so that's good sometimes, but sometimes it's like we need to really kind of <laughs> make it a write. But that's what you want to have. You yeah. want to have those people that you can just you can just talk to. And, hang out uh, with. And hang out and, with. And yeah. be friends with outside of music things. Like be able to talk about that movie or be able to talk about this current uh, social event or um, political happening or just things like be able to talk about non-music things yeah. that that to me is fun like people who i can go and hang out with that in situations that have nothing to do with music that is for me where i've found right. the best art is so number three don't be a don't turd don't be a turd point number four don't have an ego don't have an ego <laughs> now there's a difference between ego and confidence Ego is when you walk in and you know that you are awesome and that somebody else's work is just not great. Confidence is when I when like I know what I'm bringing to the table, but I don't need to flaunt it. There's a difference. Yeah. No one cares that you have written with this person. No. No one cares that you babysit this person's kids and mm -hmm. and yeah, it's no, just No, don't name drop. Yeah. Just don't don't do that. It's <laughs> It's, it's cool, but be humble. Really, just people people love people that are humble. And it, and it makes you come across way more professional when they find out what you've done or who you've hung out with or who mm. you've produced with or written with. Yeah, just drop the whole ego. It's not about you. And that's that's a real, that's really, a, a, probably needs to be number one. It's just, it's not about you at all. 
And the, the, as soon as you learn that, and as soon as you're able to live that lifestyle, the faster you're gonna grow, and the faster your career is gonna grow, because people are gonna wanna be around you, and they're gonna wanna write with you, they're gonna wanna work with mm -hmm. you. But make it make it about other people, you know? Yeah. Offer to buy someone's coffee on the way to a co-write, or on, on the way to, you know, hang out, or buy someone's dinner. Just really kind of pour into the people that care about. And if yeah. there's someone that I wanna write with, or someone I wanna meet with, that like I can see how the relationship I can benefit from that relationship. I'll offer something like, hey, you know, I'll I'll, I'll take you out to dinner. Let me buy you some coffee on the way to whatever it is that we're gonna do. You know, mm -hmm. if or, you know, just just make it about other people. Yeah, the music industry is a service industry, and so it's about how you can, as a writer, and being particularly being a writer, how can I serve the artist, and how can I best serve that person? Right. On to <laughs> tip number five of the don'ts of being a songwriter in Nashville, don't be an island. Nope. What does that mean? What, is, <laughs> what does don't be an island mean? Don't think that you are able to get to the top on your own. There is hustle and there is hard work and there is effort and there is all of, there are all of those things that you need to put into obviously any career, but don't expect that you have to get there on your own. A lot of the co-writes that I'm getting now are because I'm friends with so-and-so, who knows this artist, who knows that other singer, who's worked with this person. Oh, and you two would be great to connect, like that sort of thing. That goes back to not being a turd. Don't think that you're able to do this 100% on your own, yeah. I think is the most concise way to say it. Yeah, it takes a village. It, take, I mean, it, takes, it takes a community to make art. Artists need writers who need producers, who need managers, who need labels, who need publishers. Like everybody needs each other. And so there's, you know, that, that goes back to relationships, that goes back to being a good hang, that goes back to a whole lot of stuff. Just, yeah, you are you will meet people along the way who are excited about you and are excited about what you can offer. And so lean into it. Lean into the community. Yeah. And community starts with C. And C stands for C, the truth. Good. That's it. That's good. <laughs> that was real good. <laughs> <laughs> And then our, our, our <laughs> is there anything else on that? Like community is really important. Like it's just, it really is all about community. Yeah. It's, it's just, uh, just be a good hang. Be a good hang. I don't feel like I can stress that yeah. enough. And then finally, uh, number six is don't rely on someone else to work for you. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No one cares about your art as much as you do. People will, they, or maybe your mom. Yeah. yeah. Your mom. Does. Your mom probably likes it. She'll too. share everything on Facebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Love you, mom. Um, Happy the, Mother's Day. <laughs> this is going to sound so cliche because I've heard it a million times. But like, dreams don't work unless you do. And it's the truth, first of all. <laughs> it's the truth. Don't think that you are so good that, like, I'm just waiting on for someone to knock on my door, tell me to work for them. <laughs> it won't happen. It won't happen. Hustle, grind, yeah. put in the work, put in the effort, meet the artists, meet the writers, meet the relationships, make good art that you are proud of, that you are happy with. Don't expect someone to just do all of the work for you. No one's gonna care about your song unless you show it to them and you make it, you, you, you put it in front of them. Yeah. It's all on you, baby. It's all on you. You've got to be the one that does it and does the things and yeah. And you will eventually have people come alongside you that'll say like, hey, I can help you with this, or I can help you with this, mm -hmm. and, you know. Yeah, I have found that the weeks that I don't have co-writes is because I haven't reached out to anyone. It's, it's not because there are people who don't want to work with me necessarily, it's just because I haven't reached out to anyone. And so, like, if you're in that co-write and it's going really well, and then you get done, it's like, hey, when are we doing this again? Just get your phone out and book right. the thing. Just book the thing. And probably a, a sub-point of that is to, to manage your expectations. Um, it's not always going to work out the way that you mm -hmm. want it to or think it will, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't put in the effort and the hustle to, to take those steps because you really never know what's going to happen. You know, they, I've met individuals, I work a part-time job at something that is, has nothing to do with music, but because of where it is, I've met so many people and had several different opportunities because I've worked there to connect with individuals that have connected me with these people. Seek out the opportunities that you think that might have 
fruit that could be produced from it. You know, there there was a uh, you know a record label that that is across the street from where I work, and they opened up their office, and my my wife now we baked cookies and brought it over there, and I just introduced myself to different people, and was like, hey, like show me your new place, you know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. make it about them, like talk yeah. about them, 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 yeah, because they'll remember that, and they'll re- remember <clears throat> you, and then follow up. Always make sure you follow up with. Mm-hmm different people, different opportunities, whatever, whatever the circumstance is, make sure you follow up. Um, yeah. and, but yeah, I think it really kind of rounds it all off. It, it, everything really does fall into your lap yeah. in terms of, of having a very sustainable, subjectively successful career as a songwriter in mm-hmm. Nashville or an artist or creative, whatever it is that you're wanting to do in Nashville. Um, it really does come down to how bad do you want it and how bad are you going to grind each and every day to, to make those things happen. If, you, if you're specifically a songwriter too, kind of like what Justin was saying, like ask the artist about the artist. You're there for them. You're there to write songs for them. Yeah. You're there to, to help see their vision and to write the best song that connects with their vision and that, that connects with what the artist is saying, what the artist is feeling, what the artist is trying to sell. And, and so talk to them about them. Like that, I mean, people love talking about themselves, whether for good or bad, yeah. it's true. So like for me, when, when I get together with, with artists, like I want to know, like, tell me, how's your day? What was that really horrible thing that happened to you in sixth grade? What was that really like, what's that really awesome thing that happened last week that you're still stoked about? Like, tell me about your life because in that I can, I'm able to see your personality. I'm able to sort of see who you are as a person and and pick up on it and and then let that come out in the art that we make together. And so, yeah, I mean, like even, you know, when, when we get together, like, you know, you talk about a lot about church and life and things that are going on, like, sweet, that tells me where we're going to write and what we're going to talk about. And yeah, it's it's about, it's it's back to the service industry thing. It's just about serving the artist and, and giving them, uh, the most opportunity to tell their story. Right. All right, thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We talked about the six don'ts of being a songwriter in Nashville. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. And uh, thank you, Marty, for joining me and just giving your two cents on on all of this. Hopefully, we'll make more videos together in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Comment below. Let me know if you're a songwriter in Nashville and what your experience has been thus far, how long you've been here. Or maybe you're an aspiring songwriter and you want to come to Nashville one day. And um, Yeah, we, we, I, we would love to help. We'd love to be able to maybe even resource you or just give you some, some tips and advice. And give Marty a follow. I'll, follow. I'll link his stuff in the description below. Lemain, at LeMain Music. Is at LeMain Music. At LeMain Music. That's, that's it. Check out his stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video.